Hi again, I am Martin and that's a quick explanation, just a small little talk about my previous tutorial about sharpening images, why I actually used that method in previous image I showed you using blur effect and high pass effect instead of smart sharpen. Let's apply this effect once again as you remember I duplicate this twice, one layer I called blur and the second layer I called high pass. I'm going to do this very quickly. If you missed my last video, please check my last video to get really fantastic sharpening effect from my videos, of course. And I'm going to start with blur layer. I'm going to apply Gaussian blur. Around 10 pixels, it can be a little bit more. And the same I'm going to do with high pass. I'm going to apply high pass effect around 10 pixels. It has to be similar on both layers. And right now I'm going to change blending mode into linear light. As you can see, I got this really nice and strong effect, this really nice detailed uh, effect. And it's actually perfect sharpening it's actually our image is perfectly sharpened right now i'm going to put this into the group Control g i'm going to call this group sharpen and right now i'm going to apply just smart sharpen to show you the differences between these two effects i'm going to duplicate this layer once again i'm going to call this smart sharpen let's move this to the top and i'm going to apply smart sharpen filter of course preferences you can set on your own it just presentation and there you go as you can see we applied smart sharpen filter take a look how it looks like, how it's changed compared to our starting image. As you can see, we got this really nice sharpen effect using Smart Sharpen. However, some of the parts are actually not sharpened. As the name says, it's Smart Sharpen. It chooses the edges to make them sharpen. As well, as you can see, around the eyes, the area might be a little bit noisy, not much, but compared to the method I used using blur and high pass, it doesn't break the edges so well. So as you can see a little bit hair here, they are too thin. In my opinion, they are not so detailed. They doesn't look so effective. Take a look into my effect. As you can see, our hair are much more detailed, much more impressive. At the same time, my skin stays very natural. As you can see, everything is a little bit more visible because of the blur layer, which actually broke the edges. If I wouldn't use this blur layer, as you can notice, it's too strong. The effect is too strong and my skin becomes noisy. That was the reason why I applied this blur layer. So thanks that my image looks natural. The details are really great and not so thin as in case of using Smart Sharpen. Some people might say um, high pass effect, adding some contrast and shadows, but actually as you can see, example of this image, it's not such a huge difference compared to Smart Sharpen. That's why I'm using the method I showed you in my previous video. I hope this video explains you a little bit more about sharpening image. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.